plan is there for European luxury items in China? Well, the interesting thing I see with luxury products, because obviously I know a number of, um, uh, of uh, fashion people in, in Italy, from the owners of Prada or Ferragamos, or, and also I know a lot of people in France too, like the, sh uh, the owners of Chanel, and their business is booming still. And I think that, um, interestingly, of course there was a recession, people are worried about it, but also um, wealth, wealthy people still enjoy um, spending their money on luxury products. And I think that obviously Hong Kong is uh, the center of that. Lots of people coming from China here to, to well, you look every day, there's a line at the Louis Vuitton uh, shop every day still. So I guess we can judge it on that. And when I talk to uh, restaurants in Hong Kong too, people are still drinking excellent bottles. Maybe you're seeing, what you're seeing with wine is you're seeing less investment in wine. And, um, you know, a few people have said to me, oh, James, my portfolio of, um, of fine wine has, has dropped in value by 30 or 40 percent. Um, and, you know, I feel sorry for them, but the, but the good news is they can always drink their investment. What is your 2013 outlook on the wine industry? Well, I wish I had the crystal ball, but, you know, it's hard to say now because it's, you know, we haven't even gotten there yet. And, uh, you know, every... A uh, new year is a new harvest, a, a new vintage, and a new experience. Is it going to be difficult if the global recession continues? Do you think wine selling will be slower in Europe and the U.S. and faster in Asia? How are you seeing the geographical growth for the wine industry? I think that, uh, at least traditionally in, uh, in, the, in North America, U.S. and Canada, that even in a recession people still enjoy drinking wine but what happens is uh, people trade down and um, an interesting thing in the US is people that were at one time drinking uh, expensive let's say Italian wines for around 100 or 150 US a bottle traded down to let's say 40, 50, 60 or even more and what happened is they found out wow these wines are really good I don't have to spend $150 on a bottle of wine anymore. And they get the same pleasure. So I think there's a positive thing about that. It makes people understand that it's not just about price or the label. It's actually about the wine. And you just have to try things and experience it yourself and, uh, and make a purchase and you're there.